YouTubers, this is your old friend Commodore Urban, and I've got another piece for you from my personal collection, from the Commodore's collection. But you're thinking, Commodore, where's your hat? Thinking, well, you know, that hat hurts me every time I wear the damn thing, so I didn't really do it. Now, the piece I want to show you, it's actually kind of a more common piece. Like, you know, I bet a lot of people, when this came out, a lot of people got this because it's such a popular movie. But I have the VHS copy of the movie Titanic. Now, you're thinking, what's so special about this? Well, I fucking love this movie, okay? It says James Cameron film Titanic, winner of 11 Academy Awards, including Best Picture. And then you see Leonardo and Kate, win and Kate on the top over the, the mighty bow of the ship. But on the back of the box, it says all the awards that this movie's won, including Best Picture, Best Director, Best Original Song, Best Original Dramatic Score, Best Costume Design, Best Art Direction, Best Sound, Best Cinematography, Best Sound Effects Editing, Best Visual Effects, and Best Film Editing. It's a digitally mastered THX for superior sound and picture quality. Now, when this came out, it was like 1997-98, VHS was still the king until DVD finally took over. And because this movie's so damn long, it had to be put on two tapes. This is tape number one. This is half the movie. And, then, and it says here, Nothing on Earth can rival the epic spectacle and breathtaking, breathtaking grandeur of Titanic. The sweeping love story that sailed into the hearts of moviegoers around the world, ultimately emerging as the most popular motion picture of all time. Leonardo DiCaprio and Oscar nominee Kate Winslet light up the screen as Jack and Rose, the young lovers who find one another on the maiden voyage of the unsinkable Armist Titanic. But when the doomed luxury liner collides with an iceberg in the frigid North Atlantic, their passionate love affair becomes a thrilling race for survival. From acclaimed filmmaker James Cameron comes a tale of forbidden love and courage in the face of disaster that triumphs as a true cinematic masterpiece. And this is what is on the back. See? Just, oh, <laughs> that's something I know. I didn't open it. I didn't look at this. And you see, there's the tape. And this is card thing. If you switch to Sprint, you get the movie for free. I didn't know that was still in there. It was pretty cool. Most of that shit got thrown away. Basically, and on and this is the front of the other one right here, and on the back of it, it says 1,500 people went into the sea when Titanic sank from under us. Six were saved from the water, myself included. Six out of 1,500. After the 700 people on the boats had nothing to do but wait, wait to die, wait to live, wait for an absolution which would never come. That was a line that Old Rose says, talking about people being rescued. And then again, just like the first, just like the first one, this is the second take. And basically, if you don't know the story of the Titanic in the movie, it's basically, you know, <coughs> uh, two young people fall in love on the ship, you know, on a maiden voyage. One is a first class passenger, which is uh, engaged to um, a real, uh, a real bastard. His name is Cal Hockley, which is played by... Um, yeah, I can't forget. I forget his name now. He's a great actor. Uh, damn it, his name slipped my mind. But he's on Scorpion King movie too. So, I mean, he's a really, really great actor. Maybe if I can figure it out here, I'll read it here. Ah, Billy Zane. That's it. Thank you, Billy Zane. Yeah, yeah. Cal Hockley played by Billy Zane. Which, um, you know, Rose DeWitt Bacator, which is played by uh, Kate Winslet, is um, supposed to be married to him when they get to the States. But uh, on, on the other side of the spectrum here, you have um, Jack Dawson, which is played by um, Leonardo DiCaprio. And he wins two tickets, one for him and one for his Italian friend, in a game of poker in the pub in Southampton. And they literally had to race aboard the ship to get aboard. Now, this is where things start getting interesting. The first night out and stuff... Rose is so fed up with crap, she's trying to kill herself, throw herself over the railing, the back end of the ship. But, you know, Jack, you know, which is played by um, Leo, he stops her and stuff and makes her, uh, you know, sense, see sense. And just from there, you know, the love story kind of entwines itself until finally, you know, I think just a day right of the collision and stuff, 
they go down to the cargo hold and stuff and they and they uh have sex in uh Billy Carter's uh brand new Renault, if you know the car. That was actually a real car in the cargo hold being carried on the Titanic. Uh real life passenger Billy Carter bought the car in England by the Renault Automotive Factory. But anyway, that's a pretty good place for a sexual scene because you know people having sex in cars is kind of a cliche thing. So anyway, after they come on deck and stuff, that's when the ice the, the ship hits the iceberg, and then from there, you know, shit goes downhill, and um, you know, as the ship's getting ready to go under, as it splits, as that getting ready to go under, they actually at the start of the ship, right where they met, and you know, that's kind of a weird thing because it's the first place they met and it's the last place they were at as the ship went under, and. Um, the hero piece, you know, after you know, getting the water stuff, the hero piece they call it, big giant piece of the wreck of the ship of wood, Jack puts Rose on it, but then he don't get on himself, they're afraid that the piece would not hold him, but then there has been a, a episode of Mythbusters that has proven that that piece of wood could have held Jack and Rose both, so, but as um, James Cameron said, I wanted this to be a tragic love story, so that's why he had Jack die, anywho, you know, she tells Jack that she'll never let go, she'll never let go, and then, you know, and he sinks to the bottom of the ocean and stuff, and after Old Rose tells the story of the wreck, of what happened, um, later that night she dies in her sleep, and her soul goes back to Titanic and reunites with Jack, and then you see him kissing at the grand staircase, you see everyone clapping, and it goes up into this great light and stuff, and light just shines, and that's the end of the movie, and then you hear the song that my heart will go on, uh, every time I freaking watch that movie, it, it always makes me fucking cry. I don't know why you would think after so many times watching it, it wouldn't do that. But it's such a powerful movie, you know. And that's why I really wanted to show this to you. Because I know a lot of people went to the movie theaters and stuff and saw this movie when it was in, you know, the theater. But just because it's such a powerful, powerful love story and stuff. And, it, and it's set on one of the most tragic stages there is. The RMS Titanic. And that's why I think why I wanted to share this with you from my personal collection and if you enjoy the video please hit a like button and if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comment section below and if you like my channel please subscribe and until next time this is your old friend Colin Urban saying have smooth seas and clear skies and smooth sailing with you